Hi there, guys. It's me, Seclus here. Just want to give you a small heads up. Um, this video was actually recorded a while back, so um, I just haven't been able to post it. Um, but yeah. And also, small heads up, I am currently working to get some cool slash duo mixes out for me at ASAP. I just finished tagging a whole page of Ethan's old mashups. Um, so, it's going to be a while, but I thought I'd get these two videos out. My opinion video is coming next. And please, stop like a lot to it. Do not watch it. Do not watch it. Do not watch it. Do not watch it. Uh, anyways, MC out. Hi guys, it's Music Clues here, and I'm here with another very special guest today. Hey, subscribers! It's Ethan N here. Yep, yep. So, um, I recorded this during the weekend with Ethan N because he was over here, and I thought since he was here, just like a Mario Kart 8 one we did a while back, if you haven't checked it out, just click on the uh, black, I got the white icon on with the uh, eye out there, and you'll be able to uh, go directly to that video as well. Uh, that one was about our favorite Mario Kart 7, 8. Uh, we and DS tracks as well as these favorites. But this one, we are going to be talking about Splatoon 2's pros and cons as well as what we like and dislike. Mm hmm. Right, right. Alright. Uh, why don't you go first, Ethan? <laughs> Alright, so in this game, Splatoon 2, the sequel, let's say, um, when it comes to like play online, it looks pretty improving there. But uh, matchmaking, when you, oh man, I think, I think the match matchmaking so far is being so good with the uh, Turf War. Well, let's see, there's anything else? Okay, so online, say it's really good. I know that. But for weapons, uh, this might be the worst part you guys are going to hear. <laughs> uh, to clarify, several weapons are making a return as well as several brand new weapons and brand new specials as well. Now, um, at the end, we'll go we'll over the specials, but for now, we're just going to be talking about the pros and cons. So, a pro is the online is great. I have played on all of it, but the matchmaking, depending on which one you are in, is so, so when it comes to flat fest. They bored me. Yeah, I've been teamed up with several bad team, teams, and in case you didn't see my post on Twitter today, I got 17 wins and 31 losses. Yeah, it's because we've been in the matchmaking, it was so bad that it makes me go, it's unfair. Yeah, so regular matchmaking online, when it's not Splatfest, we'll fine. Right. But when it comes to Splatfest, uh, Nintendo, maybe you need to go over your silver again. Yep, no offense. Uh, uh, but other than that, that I give it a thumb, uh, sideway thumbs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some of it's good, some of it's bad. Not perfect, obviously, but yeah. Um, now, now the story. We have we haven't played all the way through the story, but from what I can tell so far, already better than Splatoon One. Oh, big time! And of course, of course, we, you guys already saw the Squid Sisters, Mur Murray, uh, Marie, and Cam. Yeah, so these two, let's say, concur, um, uh, you can just say C and M to make it easy. Yes, yeah, uh, yeah, let's say Marie is gonna, is already actually, they're actually have, helping you for this whole story, but what about for Cam Camry? Well, it's mystery. Yep. I won't say- I have seen what happens, but I can't say it- say it out loud because I don't want to spoil everybody. So, I won't say too much, but I will say you guys are in for a big surprise. That's it. Oh yeah, so this is why Musical says that this one's better than the Splatoon 1. There's a con to it, though. 
uh, Sheldon is also in the story mode, and he will ask you to play uh, to test several weapons to make retail versions of, so that way you guys can buy it and play it in Turf War in other modes. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, <laughs> he does it on the worst stages. <sighs> like one time, we were on a very tough stage, and I asked you to splat charger. <laughs> well, splat charger. Well, hey, those of you are really good with it, good for you, but I tried it. And that's easy. It's like it's like a sniper in some ways, but instead it's a it's a split it's a splat charger. It's it's like an ink ink sniper to me. Yeah. Not very good with it. Uh, it's not that I don't dislike it, it's just uh, it's just not my favorite weapon though. Oh, oh I'll use it if I have to, but I don't like it up, uh, like it uh, either way. Mm -hmm, right. Other than that, the story mode is good. Great amount of difficulty. Surprisingly difficult bosses in the first one. Mm hmm. Yeah, the first one is actually not that hard, like uh, what I could see, but it did look so tough, though. Yeah, I won't lie. It did give me a bit of a challenge, but nothing I can't pop uh, problem solve. But I can guarantee you, later bosses will be get getting much tougher. And don't count on uh, the last few levels in the game being easy. Easy. I've seen gameplay of them. I'll get no spoilers, but I will say, well, let's just say if you thought if I'm playing on t uh, playing on Overwatch, Watch Aside, those levels are gonna make you feel feel so bad that you're gonna w wish you were playing Overwatch. <laughs> yeah, but this is this is uh, Overwatch ha does not have a story, but Splatoon does, obviously. Yep. Uh, so yeah. So story, definite thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Now finally, my Ethan's worst part of this game. Uh, this is where I was gonna say about the con part. The weapons. Yeah. Let's just say some weapons are equipped with with uh, some some weird specials like Ink Storm, Tendo. Why did you replace? If you actually replace the Ink Strike with Ink Storm, I did say it to you, that was the most dumbest and stupidest mistake I ever saw. And they didn't, for say, replace, but I kind of feel like feel like if they if they were meant to try new weapons, I mean, I'll be happy if Ink Strike's actually clamping down the road, but it just felt like for the launch of this game, I kind of would have preferred the Ink Strike straight away. And, uh, uh, no, no, I have to be with Ethan on this one. Ink Storm, garbage! Yeah, I used it once, guys, and it looks like all you do is you throw that some kind of orb right on the, right on, it's like a bomb, I mean, and you throw it on the ground, and then it goes up, and then rains, and it just moves forward. That's all it is. It's so stupid. Not to mention, so slow. Really, Nintendo. I get you were trying to try new stuff, but maybe a storm cloud wasn't the best choice. Yeah, hate to tell you, Nintendo. Maybe in the future, maybe if you're going for the next Splatoon, take that out, would you, and replace that cop set if you get the chance. Yeah. yeah or if you want to keep it, then I guess that's okay. But bling, bling back the Ink Strike. <laughs> just for the de just for like the new content. Yes, please. All right, now the second worst power up. Hmm, the second worst one. There is something I had in mind was it looked bad. What was it though? Oh, was it the ink armor? Oh yeah, I remember now. The ink armor. Tendo, why would you, why would you put ink armor in there? There is one thing that I, the reason why I hate that. Let's say when you're about to use it. Let's just say it won't it won't start up to use that armor and then boom you get killed like you know I mean splattered wherever you try to use it like in a few seconds and you get splattered instantly. You don't even have a chance to use it. And even when you do use it, it only does it for a few seconds. That's stupid. I think Nathan uh it's not like if you're watching this, I kinda agree with you. Ink armor is garbage, trash! Blow it out, Nintendo. Seriously, if you if you want to keep it, then improve it. 
Yeah, more like just, just, just uh, buff it a little instead of just leave it like when you actually press it and then you have to do it immediately instead of just wait for the few seconds later. It's so stupid. Yeah, if you're gonna do protective stuff, then bring back the bubbler. Yeah, I think I think the bubbler is actually better than ink armor for one. <laughs> yeah, I think Splatoon 1 went a little bit better on the first weapons. Yeah, yeah. And by the way, the third was special. Uh, my and Ethan's play used this, and I have too. And we're both being honest. We thought it was cool during the trailer, but actually using it now. Not so good. The, the big gun thing, Majiki. You're talking the ten tanga missiles. Ah, the techno missiles. Thank you. Uh, those. Uh, those so so. Not too bad, but. Yeah, to be honest, guys, I know some tweet. Uh, last time I saw on the the first Splatfest for the the real game came out. Let's say there is some tweets I saw that with a missile said it's from the Overwatch reference. From McCree, he says, It's high noon. Oh man, it reminds me of that a little. But the problem with that part is, it doesn't look like high noon to me, sadly. Yeah, but I get the last one. Yeah, it does look like it, but when it comes to, you have to wait for a few seconds, uh, it's not better than better than the, the Death 5 from Overwatch. <laughs> Thank you, you would say that. Considering me as a McCree. <laughs> well, it's true though. Uh, still though, still though, regardless, not the best power up, Nintendo. Man, and uh, I think you gotta rush this one a little bit with the weapons. Other than that, the game is still good. Except for the fact they killed a few of my favorite weapons. Yep, me too. For example, they killed the M Zap and put uh, and replaced the ink bag with the ink on him. Ah! They what? should, they should keep that. That was the best. Really, Nintendo, you killed it. You killed it. Yep, I think you killed me too, man. On top of that, we have several splat charges that are returning in addition to splat charges that are brand new. Uh, what's your least favorite weapon that they killed? Hmm. Let's see. So far, um. I ain't so sure which one it is, but I know they did a good job with Echo Spray when I used it. Oh, the Echo Spray is a definite. Yeah, it's definitely good, guys. I think it's still good. Actually, from the first one, it's actually it's actually good still. Thankfully, one of the few weapons they didn't kill. Unlike my toy, anyway. Mm hmm. But they killed the Common Roller for sure. Actually, yeah, actually, that's right. They did kill the Common Roller. Oh, man. And I think that's basically it. Mm hmm Yeah, so a review again. Pro. Pro. Uh great story. So so need to work on the online for the Splatfest, but other than that, it's good. Yeah. We're talking about like Turf War or something. That is really good. But we're talking Splatfest? Yeah. I know you're trying to set people with the skill level on Nintendo, but I don't think, I don't think he can, really. <laughs> no offense. Uh, and, uh, obviously least favorite. The weapons. Big time trash. Oh, uh, yeah. Some power-ups just, ah, uh, ruined us. I feel like... <laughs> if it wasn't for that, I completely love the game, but my rating for this, I gotta give it an 8 out of 10. It's still good. But I think compared to that, I mean they did they did bring back Splatfest, so I feel glad they did, but at the same time though, the weapons wise, I like Splatoon 1 better. So what's your rating, buddy? I give it same as you. Eight out of ten? Alright. Oh. Okay, Nintendo, I'm sorry. It's not that we don't like the game, we do. We, uh, in fact, we love it. The fact that we can take it anywhere we want to, to even add to it. But you just need to buff up those some of those weapons. Weapons with a few other options from the other game. Aim and uh, maybe I'll like it a little bit more. Uh, and uh, change the ends up special, special to something different, different, please. Mm-hmm. Yeah, at least they did. Oh, actually, guys, 
There is one thing that almost reminds me of Kill Well. Let's say there is a Stingray. Actually, I have my experience with that power up. Let's say when you use it, you have to like press like when you wherever you want to shoot. You just press it, hold it, and then you have to hold, you have to let it go, and then you shoot it like a rapidly spot an asshole. It goes through, through walls. And what do you think? It's good, but it almost reminds me of Kill Will for some reason. Yeah, yeah. I won't lie, it it does remind me of Kill Wall. Wall, but that one couldn't go through walls too long. Yeah, wall. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Regardless, though. So again, again, we both give it an eight out of ten. Great story, great online, except for slap that's new to that one. And weapons are absolute garbage. Ooh, yes, exactly. If it weren't for that, I give it a nine. B two. But instead, no, 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 no. I'm giving it an eight out of ten. Yeah. So uh, Nintendo, Nintendo improve on that. Oh, I nearly forgot. I did try to make modes for both Waymaker and Tower Control. Tower Control, I think you're not gonna like as much as you did in the first game. Oh boy. Uh, now, Ethan did get to rank 10, but he can't try, try it until after the Splatfest is over, so, yeah. Uh, but, kill a uh, but, uh, uh, Waymaker? Okay, even though I haven't played it too much, I gotta say, it's very, it's just like I've never lived. Except for the whole tornado thing like you pointed out before. Yeah. So, yeah. So, Town Control, you're gonna dislike a little bit more. More, not towards the hatred of flat zones, but right, which is absolute garbage, by the way. Mm hmm, right. What was Nintendo even thinking? What are you guys doing? Yeah, whose idea, idea was it that Nintendo to come up with such a silly, silly leg mode? Yeah, I know. Uh... I mean, seriously, yeah. Uh... Well, regardless, though, no, uh, I will, I will, um, uh, put this video, I put this video out today because I did it during the weekend, obviously. So it's a little something to keep you guys busy, busy uh, for the countdown to Sonic Mania, which by this point will be about five to four days away. So, yeah. Um, well, that's all for now. Um, now Ethan and doesn't have any other videos coming up. Um, <laughs> But he did post an unboxing video earlier this week on Rocket, uh, Rocket League Ball Unboxing. Be sure to check it out on his channel. <laughs> yeah, another thing guys, we were, let's say this video, we were also originally gonna, we were actually gonna be like, like trying to compare to between Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 2, but this time, we don't know. Yeah, we haven't played the game too much, and it's only been out for quite a few weeks. So, me and Ethan need a little bit more time before we can keep uh, switching on to switching two. Yep. Oh, by the way, guys, there is Salmon Run in the game, too. Oh, yeah. I have tried Salmon Run. Uh, not my mode. Mode. It's more of your thing, Ethan, I think. Yeah, who knows, who knows. I gotta try it first before I use a anything. But who knows? It's good to have, like, a couple players play with you. Oh, speaking of which, did I mention, mention, guys, that even during Splatfest, just like Private Battle, you can also still do Salmon Run. That is, if it's going on at the same time. Yeah. But other than that, that's all for this video. Alright, guys. Um, yeah, Hypersonic Video. Are you guys excited for it? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys later. This is DJ Music Clues. And Ethan signing out. And have a nice gaming day.